Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about five important data type validation functions in VBA. So we'll talk about is date, is numeric, is empty, is null, and is array. So the first one is is date. The syntax is very simple. We just need to pass the expression or the variable that is holding the value. So if the value is of date data type, we'll get true as output. If it is not holding date data type value, then we'll get false. So for example, for the first two values, it is returning true and for the other two values, it is ret uh, returning false. Let's check it. Debug.print is date and we'll pass the expression here. So first check for this value. The cell reference is D31. So we'll use range D31 dot value. So we'll get the output here on console. So it says true. D31 is date at a type. Let's check for D32. Again it's true. D33. It's false. 34 is also false. So it returns true if the value is valid date, it returns false if the value is not a valid date. The second one is, is numeric. Again the syntax is same, we just need to pass the expression or the, value, uh, the variable which is holding the value. So for example these two are numbers, so it will return true. This is a string, therefore it will return false. This is date, it will return false. So again debug.print is numeric range and here we need to put the reference of self so it's d47 so d47 so it's true it is also true 9 is false and 50 is also false. The next one is, is empty. So it returns true if the value is blank cell or it is an uninitialized variable and it returns false if the value is a cell or a variable that contains a value or the exp uh, let's say if I show you So suppose we write debug dot print is empty. I put a variable which is not either declared or defined. So it says true. This is true. It is empty. It is not declared or defined or not never initialized. But if I say if uh, I say dim a as integer, now I have declared it. Now it will return me false. Or in fact, if I don't do like this, if I simply put the value here, uh, let's say a as 10, again it returns me false. Similarly, if I check for a uh, blank cell, for example, this one a62 range a62 dot value. So for this also, it gives me true because that cell is blank. Next one is, is null. Null is different than uh, a blank value. So it returns true only if the expression is null value. Otherwise it will return false. So if we check for null message box is null I check specifically for a null value yes it is true because it is a null value or similarly if I do like a is null and then I check for a it is true but if I say a is not null but a is a number 
it says false or maybe a string the next one is for checking whether a variable is of array, uh, array data type so for example dim a as string a0 a1 a2 and then I check uh, message box is array a since a is an array it gives me true and similarly if I say tim b as integer or simply a string and I check for b it gives me false because b is a normal string a is a string array so that's all about data type validation functions keep watching our videos we'll come up with the next set of functions in the next tutorial thank you